Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to make fabric textures in ZBrush. We would go on creating the objects. To use as a pattern, use that object to create the nano brush and with the help of the free Z plugin, we would be generating seamless textures using those nano mesh we have created. So without further ado, let's get into the process. So the very first step you have to do is downloading this plugin called Nano Tile Textures. It is completely free. Go to the link in the description of the video and download this plugin. You would see this zip folder, extract the folder and copy these two files onto the installation directory. Go to the Z startup on your Maxon installation directory and paste it on the zplug64 folder. You would see it installed on the zplugin section. So this process consists of three simple steps. Creating a mesh so we can use it in the plugin to generate the textures of the fabric. Turn that mesh into a nano mesh brush. Use that nano mesh brush into the plugin to generate the texture and use those generated textures on a surface noise. Now for the fabric, I will make two separate stitch patterns. It could be in any shape. The stitch patterns are usually the same. Some embroidery can be unique. So I'll make an ordinary shape and others are complex one. There are tons of references you could find on Google. Just make anything and see the magic of nano mesh brush. When you're finished with making the mesh, position the mesh properly, press B and click on create insert mesh. Then click on new. It will turn the mesh into an IMM brush. Do the same with the other mesh. Nano mesh brush can only be made if an IMM brush is selected. This is why we have made an IMM brush first. Now make sure these IMM brushes are selected. Press B and click on create nano mesh brush. Do this to the other one as well. Now we will use the plugin. I will just dock the Z plugin on the side here. Click on the nano tile texture. Then click on create new tile tool. And it will generate this tile mesh here. Make sure you don't scale or rotate the screen. This is important. I will go to the draw and lock the canvas real quick. Now if I select and drag the mesh onto these polys using nano mesh we have created, it will be inserted like this. So a nano mesh brush is like using a Z model brush and adding it to the surface. Now what we'll do is assign poly groups into one of these boundaries and use those poly groups to create seamless textures. I will select the Z Molder brush, will hold Alt and click and drag to give this section a white polygroup. Now on the white polygroups, I will add normal stitch pattern and onto the purple middle one, I will add a complex one. Both can be done after selecting those nano mesh brush we have created earlier. Now if you have used nano mesh before, you would know that we can always change the parameters after adding it. Going to nano mesh palette and changing some parameters for example. We have two nano mesh here. So changing the index option will let us choose which one you want to use or change the settings. Just play with the settings until you are satisfied with a good pattern. Mostly I change edge tile, v tile and scale of the mesh to change the pattern. When you are satisfied with the design, go to Z plugin. You can change the resolution of the texture if you want. I just keep it to a thousand. I will select the height and uncheck the others because we will use the height information to generate the texture. When you are done, click on create seamless maps. Select the directory and save the texture. It will take just a few seconds to create. You would see the texture like this. It's a height map. I have created two texture patterns. I will use a different one for the sleeves. You can create and use as many as you want. Now getting back to our character, we have the maps we need and we will use it on the surface noise. Now in order to use the maps properly, it is recommended that you UV unwrap your model. Otherwise, surface noise would add the texture according to the projection of the mesh and not the texture itself. So this process works best if the model is UV unwrapped. You can use the zip plugin UV master to quickly unwrap the model. Now make sure that your mesh has several subdivisions. This method needs polygons, like lots of it. Select the sub tool you want the texture on, go to the surface and click noise. I will click on alpha and add the stitch pattern we have created. Then click on UV because we will use our UVs to project this texture. Turn down the mix basic noise to zero. Reduce the alpha scale to the point where it matches and looks good on the fabric. Increase the strength of the alpha a lot so we get that height information properly. The sweater embroidery usually has depth onto it. Also changing the color a little bit to match the poly paint of the sweater. When you're done, click OK and it will add the texture onto the sweater. Quickly doing the same steps with the other meshes. The procedure is almost the same with every pattern. You just have to change some parameters here and there until it looks good. Not just sweaters, you can create hard surface patterns like this, add hair textures or even different type of weaving patterns. 
for example straw basket or something and guys this is it this is one of the many ways you can create fabric texture in zbrush there is another method which is using micro poly feature in dynamic subdiv it is mostly used in creating net type objects or ancient chain mails i will cover that in future please drop a like if you like the video comment what you want me to cover next time and do subscribe to the channel you can also buy some of my 3d models to support me models like five stylus hands and five stylus heads could be great for beginners i'll see you on the next video take care